everybody, Rose Matter here with a long overdue Sims challenge video. I know it has been a while and I apologize, but I figured I'd make it up to you by doing something completely different. This is my first ever build challenge because I am terrible at building things, but this was a request by a longtime viewer, OMG It's a Pancake, who asked me to try a build challenge for fun and to do something a little bit different. And I'm sorry it took me so long to get this out, but uh, hopefully it was worth the wait. So, uh, as you can tell from the title, this is the Make No Mistake Challenge, and it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go over the rules. So the basic idea is, you are not allowed to undo anything. Once you place something down, it has to stay. You cannot change, undo, or delete anything. So if you screw up on, like, the roof shape, or the wall color, or you put the furniture down somewhere where you didn't want to, once it's down, it stays down. Also, you have to have the essentials for living, such as a kitchen, bedroom, dining area, and bathroom. And this is an optional rule, but I figured this would make this more fun. I am only allowing myself 15 minutes to make a house fully furnished. So this should be quite interesting. If you guys do want to see the rules, I will have a link in the description bar below. But uh, we are going to go ahead and get started and wish me luck because I will need it. Alright guys, so I've got my lot picked out, I've got my timer ready to go. So, we've got it set for 15 minutes and I'm going to be starting it right now. Okay, so, my idea for this house is just gonna be very basic, it's just essentially gonna be a rectangle because I have neither the time nor the skill to do anything much fancier than that. But I do have an idea of what I want to do, so I'm gonna separate this section here for the um, kitchen and dining area. I'm gonna have a bedroom, Ooh, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Okay, so there we go. So I've got a bedroom, got a bathroom, and this is gonna be the living area here. So which order do I wanna do things? I guess we'll do the outside first. So, I have done a trial run of kind of like this already, but it definitely took me longer than 15 minutes. So this is still going to be quite difficult for me. Especially with me doing like commentary over it, so I have to try and focus on what I'm doing, but talking at the same time and being coherent. So we're going to put down all the doors first. So we'll do door to the bathroom here door to the bedroom here and okay that's it for doors so next up we'll do windows I gotta be careful with the windows and make sure that they're all about the same height and also I have to try and not get carried away with putting windows down because I do tend to go overboard with windows I don't know why I just I guess I like all the light that comes in when you have a bunch of windows. Okay, so we've got that one there. I'm gonna do this one for the kitchen. I have a small one here. In the bath. Oh, I should have put that a little bit higher up. Oh well, it's okay. It's not not the worst thing I could have done. There we go. And oh, I want to do a bay window because I love bay windows. But I have to be careful about where I want to put it. I want to have a fireplace in that corner, so I'm going to put the bay window right... Sure, right there. That works. Oh, and uh, shoot the roof before I forget. And I suck at putting roofs down. So part of me wants to stay basic and just like maybe do one shape, but then part of me is like, ah, oh, that's boring. So I'm going to do this, and I have no idea what I'm doing, and this is going to look terrible. Crap. What have I done? What was that? Why didn't- I should have just- I should have just done the one type of- Oh my god, it's like a- it's like a house got cut in half. That looks terrible. Why did I do that? I should have just stuck with my game plan, but no, I had to- I had to go and try and be fancy, and <laughs> now I have this monstrosity of a roof, so- Oh well, that happens and I'm just gonna have to roll with it. Oh, um, let's see. I'm not gonna go too crazy with the house. Oh, I was gonna be like, maybe I can move the tree over a little bit to like 
you know, distract from this, but I've already put it down, so I can't move it. There we go. If I have time, I'll go back and maybe do some other stuff on the outside, because it looks pretty plain, but gotta think about being practical. So, okay, what should I do first? First things first, before I do anything, I'm gonna put lighting in, because I can't really see anything inside, so I want to make sure that whatever, like, carpet I'm putting down is gonna look good. So let's do this for the living room. Put that in the dining room. Oops. And... So that's the thing, as long as I haven't put it down, I'm fine, like, if I go here and I'm like, oh, I don't like that light. As long as I haven't actually set it down, I am fine to go back and change things. Okay, so there we go. Now I can see the inside a little bit better, so let's go back and uh, let's do the flooring first. Oh, shoot, before I do anything else, I forgot that I want to separate the kitchen area from the dining room, so let's just... Okay, that looks fine. Okay, there we go. Now all the walls are down, so back to the flooring. So I wanted hardwood in the living room. Come on. Shift. Oh wow, that's actually a lot bigger of a living room than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. Just got more space to work with. Better, better to be too big than too small. Okay, tile. So we'll put... So as for, like my kind of design motif. I'm going to be doing like most of the 15 minutes videos I watched, like people did very modern uh, looking houses, which looked amazing by the way. Um, I am kind of nervous about putting this out because I know it's not going to be, it's going to pale in comparison to things that most people have done on YouTube, but mine's going to be, I'm going to go a little bit older, like maybe kind of a country style house. Maybe someone a little bit older is living here. Um, okay, so for the bathroom, I'm gonna do some tile. Oh my god, I just looked down at my timer the first time since I started, and I have less than 10 minutes to go. Oh my god, where did the time go? Okay, and then carpet. This carpet is so reminiscent of, like, what my grandparents had at their place, so I'm just like, yes, I am definitely putting that for, like, an older home. Okay, now for wallpaper, um, I'm going to be doing kind of like, like I said, pastel colors because it is an older home. It's like a nice kind of bluish color, but I am going to do something a little bit brighter in the kitchen and dining area. I love yellow walls in kitchens. I just think it looks so bright and cheerful. Alright, and as for the bathroom, it's just going to be very kind of white and tiles. And in the bedroom, like I said I like to kind of imagine an older woman living here, so like a pastel purpley pink. Alright, so there we go. Uh, walls and floors are done, so now we can go ahead and actually get into the decorating. So let's go room by room and do the most important ones. So first of all, we want the bathroom to be finished. So let's just put the walls down here. Uh, let's actually do do it this way. Put the walls up. Oh, and we need toilet paper roll, of course. Very, very important. All right, and let's put. I don't think I gave my myself enough space in the corner. I was going to put a shower there. So let's do shower and bath tub. Perfect. Okay, let's just... Like, it's basic, like I said. Oh, it's a little close to the toilet. Shoot. I should have moved these over a little bit. I spoke too soon. Oh, well. It is what it is. We just have to go with it. All right, so next up is the kitchen. And I realized, like, I, uh, when I'm doing this, I've, I'm kind of replicating, um, my grandparents' 
house a little bit. At least sections of it. I think subconsciously I was doing that. I just kind of realized that now. But uh, I like it. Um, let's see. Put the sink there. And I know this is not important at all, but I love putting like little things of fruit in the kitchen. I think it looks really nice. I really shouldn't be focusing on little details like that, uh, especially because I just looked at my clock and I have six minutes to go. And I have not done half the room, so yay. Okay, onto the dining room. Oh, I should have put that window. I don't like that it's not centered. I'm all about symmetry, so if things are, are like, out of symmetry, it just drives me nuts, but I try not to focus on that. Oh no, I can't- oh, speaking of symmetry, that drives me crazy, that I can't put this on the other side. And I can't put it on this side either. Okay, well, it looks like just three people are going to be able to eat here. Whoops. Oh boy, okay. On to, let's do the bedroom next. And this I'm definitely going to play up kind of the older, older style furniture for sure. I said, it's not the most exciting thing, but it's kind of the style that I wanted to do with this because I just want to get away from what I saw with other people's videos and just do something maybe a little bit older looking. Maybe look a little bit more lived in. God, why am I doing this? Stop focusing so much on the painting. This is like not even important in the grand scheme of things. You have not even done the living room and you have four minutes and 19 seconds left. Okay, I'll get back to this if I have a chance. Time to go to living room, living room, living room. Okay, so this I really want to make sure that I've got. So first things first before I forget, definitely want to put. Actually, I like this one. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so we'll put that there, and then I think I'll have like... Oh, shoot. Oh no, it's gonna be a little bit off. Because I wanted the, it to be like right there, but then I would just be, they'd be looking at the door. Because I want to put the TV here. I said, because I like to imagine someone a little bit older is living here, and that's driving me crazy. Wow. Wow, why did I do that? That's not even, like, it's just off-center. That's gonna drive me crazy. Uh, like I was saying, uh, because an older person is living here, I like to think that the furniture is gonna kind of match that, so maybe the TVs aren't quite, like, the latest thing, so the TV and the furniture is gonna be a little bit older looking. But like I said, I uh, I like that look. It looks very lived in. And what I'll do is, since there's a fireplace here, let's put... I think what I'll do is I'll put like a nice kind of reading chair. Yeah, right there in front of the bay window. And then I will put a... Um, what am I looking for? A bookcase. And it'll be kind of like a little, little reading nook right here. Yeah, that looks nice. There's so much empty space here, and that's kind of driving me crazy. Uh, if I have time, I'll see if I can fill it up. But uh, this section here is going to be a little, like, computer. And like I said, we're going to do kind of like some older furniture. So like an old desk like this with kind of like an older computer as well. I like to think, you know, the older woman who lives here, this is how she communicates with her... Um, with her kids and her grandkids as she just has kind of like this old, like, mid-2000s computer. But that's all she needs. And I, uh, I know it's kind of silly that I have like a little story about the person who lives here, but you need 
some sort of inspiration for when you do things. Because I just feel like it's more fun. Oh crap, okay, I've got a minute and 30 seconds left. I just realized I want to put a window here, just a little, little bit of light in. Okay, cool. So now we've got the basics down, so now it's just going to be finishing up on the decorating. Because there's definitely needs... This needs some stuff here because it looks very, uh, very plain. Okay, put a mirror there, yes. Oh, uh, 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 okay, there we go. Timer just went off. That was an awkward final placement, but... Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah. That's, that's it finished. Um, let's, uh, we'll do a quick, you know, once over and, uh, I can show you guys. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, crap that roof is oh my god okay so yeah didn't do so well there this part is driving me a little crazy just like the lack of windows I mean the outside's pretty plain not really many windows here either the outside's pretty and then you've just got like these just random smattering of windows I'm telling you guys like there's there's no rhyme or reason to some of the decisions that I make, and I, I warn you guys, I'm not very good at building things, so hopefully you will forgive me. So, let's take the virtual tour as we walk inside. I'm happy with aspects of the living room, like I think part of it, part of the living room does look like an actual room that someone spends time in. I kind of like this little section here, of like this little reading nook with the fireplace, looks pretty cute. Um, I wish I could have done more with the walls, but in the living room I just kind of completely forgot about, like I just slapped some things down and I meant to go back to it, but I didn't have time. I would have put some more decorations for sure. Now the bathroom, you know, just, uh, I don't like that this is so close to the toilet. I definitely would have changed that if I could. The kitchen, I think, is pretty cute. I love the mix of, like, this kind of country-style window with, like, I don't know, the, the browns and the yellows, I think, look quite nice. Uh, the dining room, obviously this window is driving me crazy. I would have put this more center, and I, I don't like the fact that I don't have a chair here to kind of, like, make it more symmetrical. But, yeah, that is it, guys. That is my sad, sad attempt at 15-minute uh, make-no-mistake build challenge. So, it wasn't quite as disastrous as I thought it would be. Uh, with the exception of the roof. That was uh, that was a total fail. Uh, but, I mean, definitely not as good as the ones I've seen online, but <laughs> I almost don't want to ask, but what did you guys think of this video? Uh, do you think that I failed or that I did okay? Um, I would like to hear your opinions in the comment section down below. Just please be nice. Like I said, I'm, I'm not good at making houses, but I hope you enjoyed this challenge and if you guys have any suggestions for any challenge videos or any videos at all that you would like to see from me in the future, please leave them in the comment section down below and uh, I hope you guys have a good one. Until next time, bye!